Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna learn how to install Timken Quick Flex couplings to help you increase your uptime. And helping us out is Seth Birchill. He is with the Timken Company. Seth, welcome to the program. Hi, Tom. Hey, uh, before we get started, I have a question. Um, what are some of your biggest challenges that you see with industrial couplings? Standard gear grid couplings have been considered the norm for decades. There were no other options for high torque applications Yet the metal on metal design required continuous lubrication and a preventative maintenance plan. Hmm. So what do we have here in front of us? First we need to put on our safety glasses. Good call on that one. Always wear the proper PPE, personal protective equipment, on every job. Go ahead, Seth. First display we'll look at is our gear coupling installed in our stand, which consists of a drive hub and a driven hub, which could range from a motor to a gearbox, pump, fan, or driven shaft. Then you also have a flange cover on each side, in addition, you need to pack the coupling with the grease because of the metal on metal design, plus you need to install the seals. Here you can see the metal internal to this coupling, the gear in there. That's why it requires the continuous lubrication. That's gonna be our driver. Bring that up to our driven. As you can see, the ends of the shafts are very close together, and if a failure were to occur, we would need to pull the motor and gearbox out, then break out the torches to try to get these hubs off to replace the complete coupling. Well, I left the torch in my other pants, so what do you say we just talk about the gearbox? But it seems to me like that would be an awful lot of downtime to try and get it removed. Right, and depending on the nature of the application, you could be looking at up to 16 hours or, or a full day of downtime. Wow, that's an awful lot. So how does the Timken Quick Flex coupling make this process easier? I'll demonstrate the installation process for you. We're going to look at the standard model for shaft ends that are close together. For shafts separated by up to 10 feet, we have inserts available. You install one hub on your driver, while the hubs are at the recommended gap allowance, you align them as close to zero as possible. Now, As you're doing that, what if I can't align the coupling perfectly? If you can't align it perfectly, this coupling will take angular misalignment up to two degrees. But the closer to zero you get will reduce vibration and extend the life of your insert. So once the hubs are aligned, you install the urethane insert. Now while you're doing that, the thing that comes to mind for me is no lubrication. What about seals? This coupling design requires no lubrication and has no seals with exception of the covers. If you need to inspect this coupling for wear or change due to a failure, you simply remove the covers, remove the insert, then inspect and replace as needed. You avoid pulling a motor, gearbox, or pump, as well as moving your hubs. Now, that looks pretty easy, but I notice you have more than one color uh, insert right there. What do these other colors represent? Well, Tom, these inserts have different levels of hardness and will accept different torque as well as temperature. The red is a relatively soft urethane, which will take light torque and also will assist in the dampening of vibration and shock being transferred through the drive. Okay. Our blue insert is our medium to high torque insert. This will take temperature ratings up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The black insert is our highest torque rated insert. This will take temperature ratings up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, but this will take the highest torque. Now what about the white one, Seth? Does this one go to 212 degrees or does it go beyond that? No, Tom, it's white because it's uh, white hot. This insert will take medium to high torque ratings as well as withstand temperatures up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Well what about your torque ratings compared to those of steel gear couplings? Tom, we're able to go size for size with the gear couplings and in a lot of applications handle higher torque. So we've got higher torque, no lubrication, you never have to replace complete couplings. That's incredible. Uh, what about some other options we need to know about? We also make covers to help achieve these higher torque ratings. We have a vertically split steel cover, as well as a horizontally split aluminum cover, which contains the hubs and eliminates axial loading. Uh, now, what type of size range would you offer? We make 11 coupling sizes with the shaft range from a quarter inch up to 11 and a quarter inches. These cover minimal torque up to 1.7 million inch pounds of torque. And every size coupling can use any of the four elastomeric inserts. This coupling for our demonstration is our QF15. 
Well, there you have it. Thank you so much, Seth. We appreciate it. Seth Burchill with the Timken Company and the Quick Flex Couplings. If you have any questions about anything you saw here today, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. Hopefully this helped you with your practical application. And as you saw, we wore our personal protective equipment all the way through the entire demonstration. Make sure you're wearing yours for whatever job you need. Also, don't forget to uh, see some more how-to videos from Motion Industries with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching.